Hello! Today I will be showing you how I colour with alcohol based markers uh, that don't have a brush nib so they have a bullet nib instead. I like to use colouring pencils afterwards just to give it that a bit more depth and I will be showing you how I colour two different skin tones um, and I've also drawn this digitally so if you would like to colour alongside me feel free to download it and print it out. Let's get started. Oh, and I got new lighting by the way. I hope this is uh, more pleasing to everyone and it's more clear so you can see what I'm doing, hopefully. So I'm going to start with this picture here and we're going to start with the skin and then I will show you how I do the hair and honestly the process for both pictures is the same except you're just using different shades. So the first thing that you want to do before you even start colouring is to decide which markers you're going to use. By that I mean which colours. I tend to have about three colours per area, a base colour, um, maybe two shades and then maybe like a last colour to add some interest into it or like blush or something. And I always do this, I mean look I have a whole little um, piece of paper where I test all the colours to see if it goes and then I write them down because I forget. Uh, and that's the first thing you want to do. Okay, so before we begin, I would like to show you how to colour with markers, so how to actually blend with them. So I'm going to take one colour, this is just one marker. Now if I take that same marker and go over this patch of colour, it will actually darken, so... This is the same marker. That's one way to add shade. Now. This is fine, but if you want to deepen this, you can add another colour. Now I want to take a second colour. Now, I can just directly apply the second colour. But then it doesn't really blend. Another way to actually blend it, which is the way that I do it, is I take it like that, and then I get that base colour that we just used, and I go over it. Now that the ink has dried, you can clearly see that this bottom one is much more smoothly blended. This is a technique that I will use throughout both pictures, um, so make sure you have this down before we start. For a light skin tone, what I would normally do is leave the white of the paper as the base colour, and so the lightest skin colour I have will be the first shade. I'm just going to go over the areas that need a need the first shade. So the areas that need the most sh the, the first block of shading will be the area under her fringe, her bangs, if you're American, um, because that's where most of the shadow is. There's going to be a lot of shadow around her eyelids. I'm not too fussed about the shadows at this, at this point because the darker tones will define the um, shape of the, the shape and the contours of the face. The first shade layer is dry. I'm gonna go over with the same color and I'm gonna define and deepen these shades. So around her eyelids and if you can tell I've used this exact same marker I haven't changed it um, but it is making it slightly darker and that's just the way markers work okay so the first layer has dried um, I didn't really have to wait that long maybe a minute or so and now I'm going to go over with my second color this is peach and I'm going to use the same technique that I mentioned in the beginning. I'm going to take my base colour and I normally have the cap off so I can quickly just switch between the two because this ink does dry quite fast so... I'm going over with my base colour on that shade bit just to blend it in. It looks dark now like I haven't done much but um, once it dries, you do have to have a bit of faith, but once it dries it will look blended. Thank you. 
because I've deepened the shadows now, um, I can really kind of tell where I need more of that light colour. Now I'm going to add the very last shade which is coral pink and this is reserved for like the really really dark crevices like the nostrils and the um, ends of the eyes and the underneath the lip. But you don't really want to use this everywhere because it's quite a dark shade. Sometimes I will go in with the skin white if I feel like I don't want to, um, I don't want to add more peach and make it darker. I'm going to leave just a little gap for the shine of the lips. And while that's still wet, I'm going to go in with a shading colour which is pale pink and I'm going back in with the base lip colour just to blend it out and then finally I'm going in with one more shade of pink just to give it a bit more interest so that is the skin done in terms of markers I will go and get my colouring pencils just to um, finish off a little bit. Okay, so I'm using a an Arteza pencil, uh, the colour is Peaches and Cream, and I'm going to just shade in the bits that don't have marker in to make it a little bit more soft. I like to go over the outline with the colouring pencil because it just makes it look more soft and that's also why I like to print my lines not in complete black but almost a sort of faded grey. Okay, so time for the other skin tone. Um, so this one will be slightly different because she will be slightly darker and so I will colour in the entire of the face with a, a marker first as the base. Okay, so this is dried and I'm going to go in with the same colour and I'm going to just go in the shadows. So that's going to be her eyelids. You really need to have a leap of faith with this particular colour because it is very dark but when you when it dries it becomes much lighter um, so you do need to have a little bit of faith which is why I suggest testing these colours before you actually put it on your final piece because the last thing you want is to add a really dark colour and then you've messed it up forever. I'm just going to quickly go over her lips with a nice blush colour before I start doing the shading. Right now it's not showing up but I think when it dries it will show up Okay. Now I'm going to add the second marker shade which is 21 and I'm going to blend it with the base colour that we've already just done right now.
Again, it looks really dark, but that's because you have to wait for it to, to dry. So I think that's the skin shades done. There is one more shade that I would like to add. I'm doing the exact same way, so I'm just gonna really do it and get back to you. Now I've just got a really dark pencil and I'm going to go over the darkest bits like the nostrils and the eyelashes. Okay, that is the skin done. Okay, so I've added um, some pink marker in the tear duct and the darker pink. And then I've also added the um, pale purple marker as well as um, eye white shade. Yep, so I think that's it for the skin tutorial. Um, this was done by popular request. If you like this sort of video, watch out for my next one where I will show you how I personally color hair and eyes. If you like my artwork, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, thank you to all the newcomers recently. Welcome here. It's going to be awesome. Take care and I will see you in my next video. Bye.